Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is Gurnal RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we get a full show in the Kelly Tribal Fetish. I I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, it's a falchion plus four? It's just a normal falchion plus four. That's, uh, that's kind of something. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Mm. In between the episodes, I had to uh, reinstall Windows, so uh, things might be a little bit different, just as a heads up, because uh, this game doesn't store the options files uh, in, in the saves folder, which is, I find, maybe something due to the engine, because the, the, the Pills of Eternity 2 doesn't do that either, and it's, it's a pain in the butt. This crumbled piece of paper is covered with a charcoal sketch of a gloomy building with a huge lock on the gate. Someone hid a pillowcase beneath the sheets. It's rotten and stuffed with various things. N not pillows, I assume. A broken children's toy covered with mold. Because of uh, the, a, the a, age, I suppose? Not really age, but, you know, just time. On a damp sheet of paper, there are pictures of sun, trees, and, glade, and a glade filled with flowers, all drawn by a child's hand. We saw this last episode. I, 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 it's, it's, uh, we don't know who this child is yet. I mean, it's, we have a, an idea, don't we? We have an idea, an inkling, and a trap right ahead. Let's see what I can do about that. One thing I disabled, though, in the options was uh, the auto pause on, uh, effect gone. That's mostly a bother than anything else. Uh, we got some Dwemer errors. And uh, we have a red cap savage. I shall murder the red cap savage first and foremost. Unfortunately, Harim might be hurt in the process. I would say he's not being hurt yet. He didn't get hurt, so the drummer. Oh! Murder that. That's good, thank you. Geeking my mage. I'll teach you. That's what you get. Okay. Skin. Skin the cats. That's what I get. Okay. Secrets of Numeria by Robert Armon. This is just the prologue. It, it is quite big. Let's see. Numeria is a stern land. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Among the ancient Kelid barbarians, a huge tribe known as the Tiger Lords uh, followed uh, uh, the Arnog. Armag, rather. Defeated only by the goddess Phrasma. Um, in place, a bunch of things. You can learn more of these famous explorers' expeditions and where they think the grave is hidden in the extensive and comprehensive works of Corver Realm, which implies that this is not extensive or comprehensive. It doesn't... Well, it's, you can sort of surmise that. It doesn't necessarily imply that, but... What do we have? Did we... Did we succeed it? Uh, a crude altar to Gorum has been erected on the uh, remains of Torax Temple. There was a... There was a DC-20. I almost failed that. I can't believe Harim wouldn't have noticed that it was a, a Gorum temple. But then, again. Oh. I don't like that. I rolled a two. I will, which means I will miss that. Yeah. That's just how it is. Never to be seen again. I bet it's good. Uh, we might be leveling up, actually. No, we're not. More traps. Yeah. I should have, I should learn that the the things that are locked tend not to be too amazing. It's, it, it's a shame that they are not, but it's. I think it's a problem with the itemization that more than anything else. We have found a defaced sister. A slim figure clad in, gray, in a gray cloak is nestled in the shadows. Through the holes in the veil that covers her face, eyes stare out at you. Her eyes, mind you, don't don't get any funny ideas. Sharp green eyes, like emeralds. You have found this place. I knew you'd come. I was afraid to meet you here, yet he still hoped you would come. I can just use detect magic? Let's go ahead and do that. A strong magic aura surrounds the woman's figure. It seems that the spell that caused it belonged or belongs to the Abjuration School of Magic. Thank you, game. I never know... <laughs> The school's of magic? Thank you for telling me. And its creator is a much more powerful spellcaster than the defaced sister herself. Yeah, we've met before in a tomb. In Dunsward? Yes, your words made me remember who I once used to be. They gave me hope. 
no matter how false, no matter how long, uh, how short lasting, that, that once I would be able to free myself from the service. Uh, in the sepulcher of forgotten heroes, you met a defaced sister. Yes, yes, the sister was alarmed by your words and left, saying that she had something important to do. She did, didn't she? Okay, well, um, I need answers. Ask away, but you should know. The one I serve has put a spell on me. If I try to play against her, I will die. There are some questions answering which... I... Hmm. There are some questions... Answering which will kill me faster than I finish talking, she says. I, she, it, it's... Whatever. Uh, who are you? Our name must be the only piece of truth among all our lies. We really are sisters. The nymphs from the first world. Bounded by blood with the one who turned the ties of our blood into shackles. We truly are defaced. When she shared her curse with us, she deprived us of our freedom, our names, and our beauty. What did she do to Trishan? He's like us, our stepbrother, in misery. You must know already he's not a regular man. He is a child of higher planes. Sarenrai's Deva, who fell into my sister's trap and was forced to serve her. This is news to me, by the way. I don't know this. His task was to aid your ascension and your fall. But he... It's a good thing I didn't let him do any of those. But his will was strong enough to fight her commands. I beg you to forgive his betrayal. There's nothing to forgive. He really did not betray me. I mean, Lindsay thinks that he did. Because we can read that in the journal. But it's fine. It's fine. There is no hope left for me. But he... Everything is not lost for him. Not yet. Sorry? No, says Amory. A little lying or carving into a high... Caving. Caving into a higher power could be forgotten. But stabbing your friends in the back? Not a chance, says Amory. Which is a good thing, because that's not what Trishan did. I... I, I really cannot forgive this line for being uh, 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 an alliteration. It's not alliteration. That's not what it is. For it being figurative. It is not figurative. Lying and caving into a higher power is figuratively stabbing your friends in the back. Literally stabbing your friends in the back is what you would assume she's referring to when she says a little lying or caving into a higher power could be forgiven. But stabbing your friends in the back, not a chance, she says. Amory, he didn't stab us. He didn't attack us, he just said some words that were completely unintelligible, and we could not figure anything out of his intentions with it. I'm not really sure... I'm not really sure if he would have actually attacked us if he were in our team. But I'm pretty sure he wouldn't. Trishan has a good heart, says Octavia. I don't believe for a moment that he seriously wanted to harm us. Yeah, he didn't, Octavia. You're all drunk, are you? Am I... Am I drunk? I'm not. I'm not drunk. Um... But am I forgotten? Am I am I forgetting? What? A, hmm. Whom do you serve? I'm gonna ask. Once she was our sister, the most powerful, the most beautiful of the nymphs of the first world. Okay, Miss Lady, when you say real sister, she said we are real. We really are sisters. I understand what you're referring to. Your blood sisters. That's you know. Whatever, it's probably not the best word. You're sisters by blood. I understand. You know, it can be sisters by other things. Really sisters by other things. But when you say, once she was our sister, it sort of undermines the real aspect of what you tried to say before. It's like that this game has a weird obsession with real, quote, uh, quote unquote, real name uh, when it means uh, given name. You can have multiple names, and those are all real names and your and really yours there's just different types of names they can be your nickname your real it's 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 really i mean they can also be your taken name or it can be your your family name or your many types of names um and it just sort of undermines it because she's not being she's saying she wasn't once our sister did she die maybe she maybe that's what it is maybe that's what, let's see then she was cursed and no it isn't what it is she says then she was cursed and banished i know not why we followed her into exile, hoping to give comfort, but she changed. As cheerful, wise, and gentle she had been back home, 
She became arrogant, wicked, and cruel in these mortal lands. You can see for yourself what she has done to us. But it is not the worst thing she has done, believe my words. I don't think I do. Especially because she said before, this is the only truth that I will say. <laughs> I don't believe any of what you're saying. I'm just here to, uh, to enjoy the ride, basically. So what's her curse? All I know, she eagerly shares it with the others. A canopy of curses looms over the stolen lands, a web so dense that sometimes a single careless word spoken in anger is enough to tap into its energies. Mm hmm Is there a way to free you? I doubt that. To do it, I'd need a mage stronger than she, or a, a cleric who would be able to ask their deity for a true miracle. My shackles are solid. They're, they're magical. I'll be free from the curse once the day when she herself is freed. Did I misread that? I'll be free from the curse only. Right, yeah. Only the day when she herself is freed. Okay, what are you trying to achieve? I can only guess on what she has planned. And I am not even sure she has a plan at all. Maybe it is simply some game that lasts for thousands of years. And the rules beyond my comprehension. Or perhaps she does what she does to amuse herself, a distraction from her own pain. Century after century, she does the same thing. First, she finds within her lands something she calls a... an empire! It may be a village led by strong chieftains, or outlaws that terrorizes the... outlaws that terrorize the, the roads, or even caves of trolls and kobolds, any center of authority in these lawless lands. She helps this new empire flourish, only so she might destroy it. Lies, violence, magic, blades of her new favorites. Hm. This is her, that, that is her arsenal she uses to destroy dreams, hopes, and the very lives of those she formerly nurtured and protected. So, I was one of her twice from the beginning? Is this the nymph again? She mentioned the word nymph in the middle of a haze of a dialogue, um, but she mentioned that, and I didn't understand what he meant because there was no absolutely no follow up on that. Um, when I asked her, "Who are you?" Nymphs from the first world. There it is. Um, yeah, this is the nymph that we saw. I was her toy. I was one of her toys from the beginning. Uh, if I would have been if she were an ally, but she isn't. She hasn't been. She has been basically... She asked for help, basically. That's that, She wasn't even hel helping me. She asked for help. It's sort of the opposite <laughs> of what I... I mm, sure. Yes! No. No. The face sister. She was... I was not. You have defeated the Stag Lord. Yeah, because of Jamandi? Wait a minute. Is this Jamandi that we're talking about? Tartuk. Yeah, a couple of times I did. Uh, Tartuk, I believe... No, was that... No, that was my own thing, wasn't it? I was... De I defeated Tartuk because of my own uh, motives. And Argulka. I must have, I forgot. Dealt with Vordekai. I did. Now the time has come for her to destroy you as well. I... No. Now the time has come for me to destroy her as well. If you are going to put the as well there, you need to, you need to follow up on... What you said before. Thanks. I'm glad I can do something. No, you couldn't. You couldn't. Wait, before you leave, I'd like to help you. The spell I am bounded with won't spare my life, but my death will be my only independent decision in many ages. Please take my blessing. Um. Is she actually sacrificing herself for my blessing? Because the. Because I can't, I can't understand that from her line. But there, I have a line that says here, "I'll take your blessing. Thank you. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten." I, I can only assume that she's killing herself so I can, so I can get stuff. Um, oh, there's another one over here. You don't have to sacrifice your life for me. Uh, yeah, that you can. You can sacrifice yourself. The sister raises her hand and starts to cast a spell. With every word, her voice becomes weaker. Her fingers tremble, but she persists. After the last word of the spell is spoken, the sister collapses dead. She cast good hope on me. Which is... For it's 
pathetic. For 10 minutes per level, which means she's level 1, because um, she literally cast that. Um, all creatures within a 90 foot burst uh, get. Plus two morale bonus to saving throws, attack rolls, ability checks, skill checks, and weapon damage rolls. That was really bad. That was, uh... That was a bad blessing. We got a card figurine that I'll take, but the rest of the stuff doesn't matter. Can we be a little bit faster? Finger of death. Valerie is now dead. Um, well, y'all y'all didn't detect the trap, so I guess that's that's what happens. Ugh. Um, it's fine. She's back. It's weird. I'm not sure why it works like that. Uh, when she dies out of combat, I assume it's okay. when she dies out of combat that she doesn't actually die. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. I'm sure we're gonna need to rest. <laughs> and this is gonna be all wasted. And we're good. Let's go. We might... Eh, probably are not gonna level up from, from killing her, I would assume. A collapsed ceiling has blocked this passage. Just a collapsed ceiling. Not the ceiling. Not the ceiling from here. It's just one of the ceilings. It's a good thing I saved. Because I'm not doing that. Yep. That's... It's... Yeah. Two... Well, I guess... Uh, JFL doesn't really... Isn't, she's not really good at opening locks. She's a good backup. What are you failing at? My god! That is not even... That is a hard check, though. Um, she rolled the 12. Oh, that is a hard check. But we succeeded. Well, I rolled 17. I didn't need to roll 17. I failed a bunch of times. Like, probably five times. I had to reload five times. I only had to roll a 14. Yeah, 14. Which means 14, 15, 7. So that's 35% chance to succeed at that. Hmm, it's not too bad. I mean, still didn't do it, but, you know, didn't do it easily. I think we're just in a place where checks are higher. I don't know if the game is still saving. Maybe it's asynchronous. It is definitely somewhat asynchronous. Uh, 1,400 experience from disabling that trap. We got a unicorn's horn. Or a unicorn's corn. Which is... Corn means... It, 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 that's the word. That's what it means. Uh, that's good. I like that. And then we have horrid wilting. Wait a minute. We That is a thing in this game? I want that. I want that a lot. Oh my god, we have horrid wilting. I, 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 I need to read it, though. Uh, there's a mod that allows us to um, to know. So that's that's horrid wilting over here, right? No. Whale of the Banshee. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll have to look into that. Mm hmm. Good stuff. Oh, that's not good. Don't keep me on the right side. <laughs> on the left side. I think we're good. Most of the lower level stuff is probably easy. Or probably already learned, I should say. Because I, I do checks on these every once in a while. And that's going to be the last row. Okay. What is your spellbook? Whale of the Banshee is a higher level one. Horrid building. There it is. What is it? All creatures within a 40-foot burst centered on a, on a target point. Okay, that's good. Um, 
evaporates moisture from the body of each subject living creature, causing flesh to to wither and crack and crumble to dust. 1d6 points of damage per castle level up to a maximum of 20d6, but it's only resisted by spell resistance. And no, no, it's a saving throw on fortitude, which is still incredible. Uh, this spell is especially devastating to water elementals and plant creatures, which instead uh, take 1d8 points of damage per uh, level. So, per caster level. So it is pretty powerful. It is not as amazing as it was in D&D 2. But then again, this is based on D&D 3. The, uh, a detailed map of Numeria covered with markings. Unfortunately, it doesn't really do anything for us. I wonder what that does in the tabletop version. Like, you find that and you're like, cool. <laughs> the, 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 the GM is just going to... Uh, acquiesce, not acquiesce, but acknowledge that there's something over there. So that wasn't locked, but we're definitely getting into... Uh, we found them. We found them. They were stealthy. Valerie? Go ahead and, uh... Yep, upset them. Oh, they're coming. Oh my god, they're coming. Uh, fireballs for the win. I'm sure you're not gonna like that. Uh, there's an option, by the way. Let's see. Oh my god. need to see if it... Yeah, you can't see the... That's that's better. Uh, there's an option... Arim is probably going to get a fireball. Arim did get a fireball. Okay. Oh, that's bad news. That's really bad news. So, everybody except for Octavia and for Valerie needs to attack this Dwemer Cat. I think that's good enough. Uh, I don't believe that is good enough. Uh, it was, actually. As it turned out, that Wemmerket died a lot. Uh, yeah, those those are dangerous. But we're gonna sleep anyway. Okay. So, uh, what was I saying? I was saying something about things, I'm sure. Whatever. We did it. And that, that Savage over here doesn't have anything for us. Man, the Dwemer cat's jumping out of us, uh, at us. I just... I need to be aware of that. Because they, they basically teleport. Uh, a Numchaku over here. Is that what it is? Is that where the word Numchucks come from? Because... I, I don't know if that's Japanese or not. Or supposed to be... Uh, pronounced Japanese way. Because it wouldn't be... It would it it would be closer to how I pronounced it in Japanese than than it is in Numchuck. Uh, training dummies covered with marks made by what looks to be a wooden sword. I and also an iron golem over here. We're gonna get ourselves uh, in a little bit of trouble, I'm sure. An iron golem, darkened by time, towers over you. It's massive, created by unknown masters. Its huge arms seem capable of snapping you in two, but it remains still. Uh, well, I can examine the golem. Mighty armored plates protect the mechanism that can set the massive figure into motion. This golem was obviously built for fighting. Um, I can uh, say the word from the engineer's diary. As the word is spoken, the iron golem comes alive. The mechanism that was still a moment ago starts to tremble. Its hinges creak and the golem begins to move. Uh, but not against me. It said, a master protection mode activated. Thank you. I'm not really sure where we're going with this, but we are. Are you following me? I, I'm not sure. Yep. These are all traps. Okay. Apparently that isn't. <laughs> Her being the one that steps through it first. Not necessarily the best of ideas. Okay, we're a little bit of uh, at a little bit of a. Uh... That's such a really nice bonus, though. I mean, it is a nice bonus. It's just a shame that it only lasts for ten minutes. It doesn't even make sense that it would last for ten minutes, because I'm sure that Face Sister isn't the level one. Oh yeah, thank you for teleporting me. The defaced sister, before you, moves like a broken puppet. Merciful center and I, heed my prayer, burn my heart, purify me by your fire, save me from evil. Says that person. 
So, Saturn Rai is good? Okay. Um, so, her feet are unsteady. And she... Sw the, the face sister. And she sways slightly back and forth, as if attached to invisible strings. Her hands dam dangle limply from, her wrist, from the wrist. And her... Clothes are smeared with blood. Instead of an eye, the oculus of Abaddon rests within her eye socket, the artifact gleaming with a wicked red light. My elder sister left. You're late. The oculus of Abaddon gave me the power to foresee the path to my sister's desire. She is already on her way. I came for Trishan. Uh, give him to me and we'll go our separate ways. I won't do that. Besides... Why would you need someone who lied to you every step of the way, concealing his true goals and his true self? Look at him. Did you know he was once one of my kind, a creature from the Outer Plains? Now all that remains of the sacred servant of Saren Ray is a husk. And it's also a, a the soundtrack swelling. Oh, really? That's interesting that it does that. Soundtrack, why are you swelling? Go away. Don't Don't do that. That's really weird. I could no. It's not that I couldn't hear her, but it is. Anyway. Why do we want to save him? He is our friend. That's why. Eh. What happened here? Exactly what was destined to happen. My mistress granted me a boon few of my kind could hope for. My body and my soul became a vessel of great power. Tristian, my sister Skylark, betrayed you. He used you to infiltrate Vorticai's lair and bestowed my sister's curse upon him. He stole his treasure, the Oculus of Abaddon, an artifact capable of revealing that which is hidden. The Oculus showed me the hiding place of... No, that is enough. Though your death is assured, such knowledge can wait. <laughs> I like the implication that I will learn that after my death, uh, which I believe is probably the... Is it the intention? Maybe. I, uh, I've i met others like you, you know. Tell me, who are you? Because the other ones didn't. An emissary from the first world. A servant to the power that came to these swamps against her will. My duty is a heavy one, but I bear it without faltering. I shall not bow. Not before destiny. Not before my enemies. And not before creatures such as you. And what are the sisters you're talking about? She's the queen of this horizon and horizons unseen. She's the mistress of dreams and the embodiment of all mortal desires. She is wrath, and she will crush these lands to dust. The embodiment of all mortal desires. Mostly concerned with not dying, I would assume. Because... Uh, uh, what desires are specific to mortals, if not maybe the not dying bit i mean specific to more it's like hmm or, or maybe not specific maybe just the desires that maybe all mortals desires i mean I get, there's multiple ways to interpret what she is the mistress of dreams so i think dreams they are not being a dream walker but rather of hopes because hopes and dreams are sort of can be synonym um and you know what i mean mistress of hopes so she is good. I mean, I assume she is good. But then again, what do I know? Um, maybe that evil there is not meant to be the evil from Dungeons... Or not from Dungeons & Dragons, but from Pathfinder. Um, but rather, just the evil that... You know, the, from language. Because <laughs> an evil character in Dungeons & Dragons... Or Pathfinder, rather, uh, can say, you know... Can say, save me from evil... Uh, or, I mean, it can, of course, but you know what I mean. It's like, it's, that's not in character, uh, or it's not n normal for uh, an evil character to say that. They would say, save me from good, and that just sounds weird, because that's not what, that's not how it works. But that's my, that's one of my gripes with the, with the alignment system. I serve Nyrissa, mortal. When you hear this name, a chill crawls down your spine. A supernatural coldness freezes your shoulders for a moment, but then the feeling passes. Trishan, can you hear me? I don't know where you are. Uh, wake up. Come. I don't know if you're sleeping. Oh, that's Trishan over there. The the one that says that. Merciful Siren Rai. Nerissa, though. 
Wait. Didn't you mention Sanurai before? Now all that remains of the sacred servant of Sanurai is a husk. Oh, right, 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 right. I am mistaken about the name of the gods. Sanurai is Tristan's goddess. And and apparently, yes, that's fine. But she serves Nerissa, who I would assume is evil at this point. Because of maybe some conflicts in, in Trishan. The cleric of Saturn Rai, Trishan that is, doesn't even turn toward you. He's immersed into desperate prayer to his goddess. Save your breath. This Skylark has broken his wings, and now he's useless. I'll rid myself of him after I've finished with you. Well, that's uh, what you say. Uh, tell me where where is Nari where did Nerissa go? She went after what the Oculus of Abaddon revealed to her. She will not return. She has ordered me, the most loyal of all sisters, to remain here and ensure nothing leaves these chambers. You see, these lands were our home long before you appeared. These walls witnessed another mortal who, like you, serves Nerissa's goals now. We taught him. We showed him the way. We told him what to believe and whom to serve. It's worth pointing out that I don't remember who Nerissa is right now, by the way. She's saying this, and I don't know if we met her before. I... I don't think she is the nymph. I believe Nerissa is the, the face sister that we met the first time around. But, I don't know. My elder sister, Nerissa. She is the mistress of half-truths, exploiting hopes and weaknesses of others with her words. All it took to control Arnog was some books and legends about his great destiny. All it took to control Tristan was deceiving him into thinking it was Nyrissa who deprived him of his holy gift. She who cursed him with a mortal body. Well, there you go. I was right. <laughs> she is the other, the, the main, def uh, the face sister. <sighs> lies. So that was all lies? Hmm. Is this supposed to... Ha am I supposed right now to get Trishan back into my team? Because I think that's what would have happened if he was in my team. As if awakened from a nightmare, Trishan winces and raises his head. And all it took to control you, upstart Baroness, was a lure. The promise of your own lands to rule. Mm. And you bought it. No, all I didn't. Of you. I didn't care. Enough. You are a thing of the past, and I must rid this place of you. And Tristian. Get ready for oblivion! Wait, that's not all I wish to know. I think that's all I will get to know. And I'm pretty sure... Wait, Trishan is not... Oh, Trishan might die. Well, how do you... Who's casting Baleful Gaze? The Deface Sister is casting Baleful Gaze. Things are bad. Things are really bad. Things are really, really bad. Uh, we are going to need Valerie over there, and we're going to need a Rim over here, and everybody else to attack there. Uh, but Octavia needs to get out of here. Oh, there comes our Golem. Okay, that's good enough. And then we have this. Can't really do better than that. Uh, Giladel is taking damage. Uh, I'm not really sure what just happened, because that sounds like a... That looked like something that was not what I did. But the fireball has been cast. Uh, I think the face sister is casting... Hmm. I'm not I'm not sure. Let's do... Oh, that is great, actually. Giladel, please don't die. I think Giladel might die. Please don't die, because that's game over. Ooh, that, was, that was a miss. Okay, the face sister... Uh, like staking magic missiles. Uh, Amory and Jay fall out of the front. That stone golem is going to be a problem. Uh, yep. That is a problem indeed. And uh, Jay Thal is dying. Uh, and so is Giladel. We. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, Giladel didn't die. Uh, which is good. Uh, you're casting the wrong things. Let's just go with the faced. Uh, so you cast. Yeah, that's good. Are you attacking the right person? 
Uh, we've got a rim. Okay, she is just absolutely getting destroyed because Valerie needs to be at the front. Uh, we are losing stats. Oh, also I found uh, there's an option that uh, allows us to regain some things. Okay, Emery, Jethal. Who the heck is attacking her? Jethal, I mean. Oh, you are attacking her. There's many bad things going on right now. Super many bad things. Uh, is that the defaced sister? I believe it is. Uh, Amory. Okay, that's a kill. Uh, that's good, because then I can attack you. And, uh, I think AI, the AI is gonna take care of things, but I think we are about to lose somebody. Um, are you- that's magic missiles. The, the color is slightly different here than it is up here. Uh, I just heard money? Maybe? The Gil Giladel is pulling pulling the heavy weights, or the heavy weight in here. Like, seriously, Giladel just destroyed those golems, no problem. Uh, we are losing dexterity. It's, uh, it's really bad. We might die. Valerie is actually got knocked out because she doesn't have a dexterity. And, uh, so did a rim. Wait, what the heck? Oh, invisible. Uh, which means we can't cast spells anymore. That's that's bad. The situation is dire right now. Because of all the agility loss. Or dexterity, rather. It's a breath weapon? We might die just from stat death. Okay. We're doing damage. Uh, do I have any mode that increases accuracy? It would be in abilities. Rapid shot. Hopefully we'll pull through. Rapid shot decreases accuracy. That's what I disabled it. Octavia is just going to be bad at this. I don't think I can cast that stuff. Can I? She's invisible, I think. Uh, That was a sneak attack. That landed. That was lucky. Because, of course, Octavia has got sneak attack and we did it. The one doesn't see evil will destroy the thing that seduces others power that can disperse the darkness evil incarnate must be destroyed without looking at you Tristan reaches for the oculus destroy it I'm gonna say to Tristan the one who doesn't see evil will destroy the things that seduces other the thing that seduces others hmm You know what? It's his thing. I'm gonna wait. Watch silently. Tristan reaches down and takes the Oculus of Abaddon from the sister's eye socket. Really gross. And then he steps back, raises his hand to his eyes. Uh, more gross is coming. While raising the other hand, with the artifact firmly clenched in it, the sky and the sun, or to the sky and the sun, hidden behind the stone masonry. Merciful Seren Ray Dawnflower, hear the prayer from your apostate. I am powerless to fix what I've done, but I can prevent others from following the same road. Grant me courage and light my way in the eternal darkness that awaits. I don't think that's how apostate works. <sighs> For a moment, the dim room is brightly illuminated. A flower made of blinding light blooms in Tristan's palm. The cleric utters a last sigh and presses his palm engulfed in sacred fire to his eyes. I said more grossness was coming. And his other, with his other hand, he releases the Oculus of Abaddon and it falls to shatter on the ground. The destruction of the Oculus in exchange for eternal darkness. <laughs> There's no worse punishment for Seren Ray's servant than to be deprived of her light forever. But it is fitting for all I have done. Let me tell you something before you decide my fate. Nyrissa is gone. She cannot keep me silent any longer. I'm tired of lies and deception. Our meeting wasn't a coincidence. It was Nyrissa who sent me to the Temple of the Elk. She conjured that fog and sent Jod a version of the place. Since then, I've been watching you, 
waiting for a time to act. A virgin. Marissa. A virgin of the place? Hmm. But that's... That's not all. I helped her create and plant the unwilting flower that almost destroyed your barony. As you can see, everything that happened in Vordekai's tomb was but one of my many crimes. That is all. Deal with me however you think best. I'm not really sure what he means by that. <laughs> uh, everything that happened in Vordekai was his, one of his crimes? Hmm. Well, uh, we're gonna we're gonna deal with that in the next episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pathfinder Kingmaker. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.